your boss, your professor, your whatever is being disrespectful to you, I know your solution. Keep watching. <laughs> this just made its way to my teeth. This is tea with Aisun, by the way. This is lamb sip with Aisun because I'm sick. Um, and I'll try to keep this short. <laughs> so, this week we had the experience to indulge with some new professors that may or may not have robbed some of my cohorts and me in the wrong way. So, let's talk about it. What happens if your parent, your grandma, your boss, your professor is talking to you in a disrespectful way. So, first of all, you don't need to earn respect, you're a human being. Um, you should be respected for like just showing up and being you. Um, and especially when people don't call you by the name that you should be called. Uh, especially, I'm talking to you foreigners, like me. You have a name. <laughs> And if, if you want to be called by your first name, say it. If you want to be called correctly by your first name, just spell it out a few times. Take your time, honestly. Like, if that's important to you, do that. Um, for me, it's I have a few versions of my name that other people call me by that I'm like, okay, it's fine. Like, <laughs> love the lights again. Um, like. I have heard a few like pronunciations in Germany and uh, in the UK in different places where I'm like I understand why you cannot do it in another way because it's like it's not in your native language and that's fine um, but like calling you by names that are not your name disrespectful no go calling you by your last name if you want to be called by your first name no go um, yeah things like that just number one just correct them and honestly as long as they are not paying your bills you don't have to be there just like if it's really bad like especially i'm talking about a university situation if it's really bad you don't have to stay like honestly i know it sounds crazy but <laughs> i walked out of classes before and um, not at university it, it didn't get that bad right now but I have walked out of classes at, at school. Like, as long as they are not paying your bills, you don't have to pay them bitches any mind, as RuPaul would, would say. So just just go with that rule, first of all. Um, I think people that tick in that way respect people that draw boundaries. So if you're vocal about, no, I don't want this right now, then people will mostly, like, be understanding in some way I have made that experience at least like you have to read the room and stuff as well for that but um, I have said no to like a few requests uh, this week where I was like no I'm not I'm not doing that because I feel like it's disrespectful towards other people um, and like if you say those things you have to deal with the consequence of the other pe person maybe being like yeah, no, okay, wh whatever, you still have to do it. Like, you have to deal with the conf uh, consequence of, like, putting your foot down and being like, no, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to. And I have, like, when it comes to, first of all, ethical journalism, I have a few points of, like, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, it's also, like, while I had my internship, um, it's also how they taught me. They were like, yeah, if, if people higher up um, tell you to do some stuff that you're not comfortable with, just, just don't do it. Um, honestly, as long as you're studying or as long as you're not like actually like struggling to pay rent or whatever, you don't have to do shit that other people tell you to. Um, and I respect my elders, I respect um, the people that have more experience than me, but I do have values and ethics that I go by, especially in my industry, that's, that's key, because your word and your reputation is, is what you go by. So I feel like, honestly, if you, 
if you are a person that is trying to get into the industry just sit down and ask yourself what your morals are I will not annoy someone that just lost someone for example like this is just a made up example um, if like I can go to them be like I'm a journalist I'm doing this and that do you want me to tell your story if they say no we are not you know we are not like the most annoying press ever like like because press can be so hard to deal with um, we have stories like Britney Spears in 2008 because people have just overstepped boundaries and it's so important to respect other people's boundaries and be clear about what you say and then deliver and if someone wants the end product and you've promised them the end product do that if someone asked before an interview for the questions you said yes and then you change up questions that's not cool like that, that's just like don't don't put people on the spot like just you know just have your ethics and once you have your ethics if people demand you high, uh, from you higher up what they want you to do and you're like i cannot do that it's i'm sorry but i can just not it's not in my ethical behavior uh, this is what i go by um, maybe we can solve the situation like that um then go by that honestly it's, it's just that easy and um putting your foot down and demanding space and correcting people about your name and introducing yourself having an open body language it all comes through practice the more you practice the better you're gonna get at it and if you stutter if you have a problem if you're mad at yourself for letting other people overstep your boundaries at first like it's fine we all make mistakes but honestly you deserve respect you deserve space and take up that space and honest obviously be humble about where you are like if you're at the start of your career being humble about that is it, it's nice and it's important and learning from other people that know more about what you want to learn um, is completely fine and like it should be that way but there are some things that just should be that way and you need to demand it go out of your way and demand space no matter how uncomfortable it is correct people about your name tell them how you want to be called um, and nicely correct them if they don't do it and if someone wants you to do something that you don't feel comfortable doing just go like by all due respect i don't feel comfortable doing that and that's fine um so a final rant on that on that note i hope you have a great day and i'll drink my lamb sip and hope that i get healthy soon yeah see you in the next video and thanks for watching